Hi everybody, welcome back to the shop. So today I have a couple more products I got from banggood.com. And yes, they did send these to me free of charge. Yeah, this is something I have wanted for quite some time. Now, the only thing that's kept me hesitant about buying a lot of these tools for measuring is they're always in metric. Now, however, on these type of slide rules, I myself rarely use the measurements. I'm just using it to more or less draw a straight line or a 45 degree line. So this one's also pretty nice because it's got the little pivot point here in the back where I believe a very fine pencil will fit. The main focus of this video wasn't so much this tool, it's what's in that bag. Yeah, this is something I've more or less been drooling over ever since I saw it show up on their site. Self-centering doweling jig. So here's what's included in this set, besides this awesome foam molded padding. <laughs> You get billet aluminum. Well, I don't know if it's billet, but you get aluminum, red anodized. And I believe these are brass. Not 100% sure. They say they are on the ad. And then you've got these various inserts based on the diameter of dowel you want to use or hole you want to drill. And you get three of each size. So let's talk about the only negative so far I have found with this and it's in metric sizes. Now that's not per se a negative, but for us in the States or anybody that prefers to use Imperial, that can be a nightmare considering you're not gonna find metric size dowels here in the States, not unless you go to some specialty shop. So I've put together the equivalent in the US, or I should say Imperial standards, and I'm gonna list those on the screen, but I'll show them to you as follows. You're gonna need a 15 64ths, you're gonna need a 5 16 and the 25 64 So the main point of this jig is to allow you to center a hole on the edge of a board without any measuring required. You'd grab a board such as this, put this on here, close it. Now you're perfectly centered to either drill your hole or even just to draw a center line. And you've got two different size holes here for either really fine pencil or even a standard pencil will fit. Just one at least with a little bit thicker lead and you can use that hole as well. So you could potentially just use this just to draw a center line. So what I've decided how it will work best in my application, as you see, I've got these boards down here. I'm gonna be making a top for a little end table. And so I'm gonna laminate all these boards together and I've decided I'm gonna use dowels to make sure the alignment is absolutely perfect. You need a baseline as I put it. So that's where this end stop I believe is gonna come in handy is I will space the first hole where I wanna start. Once you've drilled that first hole, then you grab one of your pegs here, and this is the 3 8 one. So you would move it over, drop that in, and now that would fit in that first hole you drilled. And now you keep drilling. And now those holes are gonna to continue to be perfectly spaced. Okay, quick update. I was able to drill out the smallest size to one quarter inch. Now we're good to go.
this is an awesome tool for whatever dowling need you have or if you just want to drill holes on the edge of a board and make sure they're perfectly centered this tool is perfect it's well worth the money hi everybody well i decided to add a little bit of bonus footage here i'm right now putting the finishing touches on the tabletop uh, i added a couple coats of polyurethane on it however this project overall became a total failure and unfortunately i don't have enough of that scrap wood to make another top or redo it if i had a thickness planer i could have fixed it but i guess let me back up and explain what happened well just before i got done near the last few holes this tool came apart apparently these screws in the bottom had not all been fully tightened and then from the constant moving it wiggled them loose however prior to the screw falling out I didn't realize that they were loose and what happened is this bar in the center here kind of shifted a little so as I was drilling the holes they weren't going in straight a little bit of an angle didn't realize it till during the glue up when I put the pieces together some of them were even off where the seams didn't line up and then once I had it all clamped together, I ended up getting a concave shape. Well, I did my best to force it flat. I think on one or two of the holes, I even had to pull out the uh, dowel and not use it in order to get the boards somewhat level. I even went over it with a hand plane, thinking I could do that. I don't have a thickness planer yet, or that would have been the best bet. I would just would have ran it through. It just would have been thinner, but it would have been perfectly flat. So that's something to keep in mind if you get this tool make sure all of these screws are tightened and it's kind of weird too because each one of these screws has a spring in it to help keep tension so they don't come loose so it apparently had not been tightened all the way down so thank you for sticking along all the way to the end i appreciate that until next time you take care